Hi, stay tuned so that I can tell you about my new course entitled How to Make an eTrial Notebook Using OneNote. When you're first assigned a case, you are a student of that case. You are learning about that case. You are learning the facts. You are researching about that case. So you create essentially a student's notebook to learn about it. My name is Luigi Monteleone. I'm a deputy district attorney with the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. Right around 8.20 every morning, you'll see about 10, 15 DAs carrying this rolling cart right behind them. Stacked to the brim, sometimes two buckets on top of each other, all of our notes, all of this data that's just sitting there in a bucket going back and forth. And files get lost, and we have to recreate them, we have to print them out. And to cut out that much movement of our really important data was a goal of mine. In the development of a case, in the development of planning for a case, I've always used, you know, pen and paper. You know, I'm a firm believer that handwriting is the way to learn, is the way to remember things. Don't reinvent the stylus. It's a wonderful tool with how to learn and prepare and to create not only art, but also ideas, to convey those ideas. Combining digital handwriting with PDF searchable capabilities essentially makes that trial notebook and yellow pad, combine them into one and puts it in the same place with everything accessible. So I hope that you will consider subscribing to my course entitled How to Make an eTrial Notebook Using OneNote. It is available for 4.75 hours of Texas MCLE and it may also be used for self-study MCLE hours in any other state. You can find this course on my website at professorblackmore.com. In this course, I'm going to show you how to move between your online and your desktop copies of your OneNote eTrial notebook. So as you can see right here, we're in your desktop copy of your OneNote eTrial notebook. And then here, right here is your online copy of your OneNote eTrial notebook. And as you can see, the same uh, page is correctly synced over. I'm going to show you how to do that in this course. I'm going to go step by step with you and I'm going to show you how to include all of these particular sections in your eTrial notebook using the format set up in Buckland's Building Trial Notebooks. I'll talk to you about some of the forms that you'll find in that book and I'll show you how to set up your eTrial notebook using OneNote. As you can see here, we'll have all of these particular sections, the plan, your summary, your pretrial orders. I'll go step by step with you and I'll show you how to add sections and add pages to your eTrial notebook. I'm also going to show you how to use your eTrial notebook in trial and I'll show you how you can write and even record notes in your daily trial diary or your daily trial notes in your e-trial notebook. And so here is my e-trial notebook on OneNote on my Surface Pro. This is what it looks like. It eliminates the need to take voluminous amounts of paper and boxes of court files into the courtroom for trial. I can just snap off the keyboard and this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you this in this course. I'm also going to show you how to use your cell phone as a scanner type device where you can use office lens to take pictures of documents as a document camera uh, in the courtroom and you can upload those documents to your e-trial notebook and they are synced immediately to those who have access to your e-trial notebook back in the office. Throughout this course, we will use an actual simulated motor vehicle accident trial so that we can actually go through the steps of setting up our e-trial notebook using OneNote. And here's a brief summary of the sample case that we'll be using. Oh, great to hear. Listen, Caroline just called. She's about to have the baby. I was just on my way to court, but now I've got to go to the hospital. I really need you to try this case for me. It's pretty straightforward. 
Basically, a car and a bicycle collided at an intersection near downtown. The bicyclist claims that the driver was speeding and wasn't paying enough attention to the road. Now, she wants him to pay for the cost of the bike plus her medical bills. The driver claims that he had the right of way and that the bicyclist ran a stop sign. This case file has all the documents you'll need plus my notes for the opening statement. We just picked the jury yesterday and testimony starts today. Anyway, good luck. I owe you one. And so this is going to be a very fun and innovative course. So I hope that you will subscribe to my new course entitled How to Make an E-Trial Notebook Using OneNote. You can find this course on my website at ProfessorBlackmore.com.